Hello, Mermaid here, and welcome to a game called Stash. It's free to play on Steam currently. I know that in December 2016 it was on uh, early access. Don't know if it's still on early access. You got uh, male and female for humans. You get brides, which are locked in female. You get trolls per clock which is sort of like an orc combo between a troll and an orc I suppose because it's a nice tough looking more of a warrior type yeah as you can see it's more of a warrior type you get plus for this class you get class stats which is plus 20 this is a turn based MMO so turn based fighting on an MMO I found it really interesting, so I decided to try it out. Now, humans have plus 20 will, so I suppose will would be something for like a healer or, or a mentalist, knowing other games. So, I don't know, I think I might go for a human, because human, why, who doesn't want to do a human? Basic human. Why is charisma? Ah, well, I just lost connection. What a perfect time to look at this main screen. Let's log back in. Yeah, so everything was lost here. I don't know what class. Let, let me just go for a basic human female, just because that's default. You, you can go custom face, then you can go a bunch of uh, different things like alter your face, which is quite in depth, I must admit quite a few sliders you have here. Some do very little, some do a lot. Now I'm just gonna make a dirt uh, I'm just gonna make a really bad face because I I'm not good with making faces. Okay, human let's just go for female because why the hell not? If I'm gonna go elementalist, um well yeah sure let's go for elementalist or ooh, there's a slight tinge of purple right there. Very slight, now we're just gonna pick that up. Which is funny. Okay, now skin color. You can be any skin color, you can be vampire basically. Yeah, let's be a vampire. Vampire elementals that can use fire. Hmm, that does not seem right. Farmer, okay, so you know how you know your way about rakes, hoes and vegetables. From spending so much time on the garden. So you get the backstory, you get makeup. I should have gone through makeup first. Not much. There is a few though. There's vibrant, light, and gothic. Which I'm gonna take none because why? Why would you need that? Suppose males have no, they also have makeup. In any case. Let us go for long hair. That's why I'm not. And again face because that's Best looking one for me, anyway. Ooh, oh, it's dry. Okay, swap them to dry. No wonder. I was just going to say, like, whoa, where did these skin colors come from? I did not see them. Let's go for nice. Let's just go random. There. That is how you do random. Green eyes. Bright green eyes. Glowing basically. Elegant face, let's go for... Mistral is dancing. Urchin is, you know, urchin. Like, street people. Gypsy, sleight of hand, health. These are very... I believe these are actually, like, stuff from D&D. &D. So the heritage is, like, backstory, background D&D &D stuff. It doesn't appear to be adding anything right now, besides perhaps a class, like what type of uh, class you have, like like subclass, like crafting. Uh, but I know you can learn that in game, so I might go healer because healers can confuse their opponents, which does sound nice. But I might go for height damage because I played a hunter earlier just to try out the combat and stuff like that, and I got definitely destroyed. 
I got destroyed. I suppose I needed to do traps and stuff like that, but let's go for Elementalist because I don't know. And then I can use my name. Modern Mage. Yay! I'm just gonna have that. Now you can select your tile. Do you want wood? Do you want stone? Do you want different stone? Do you want grass? Do you what type of stance? Let's go for this stance. Why the hell not? It looks like a mage stand. Looks perfect for a mage. Yeah, now let's grab. Yeah, sure, circular. Circle is always nice. Now, you can have multiple characters, which is a good thing. Which I kinda like. Which I like MMOs, because you can have multiple characters, so you can level up whichever one you want. So you can have a fighter, level it up a bit, then you can swap back to a mage. There is a bunch of stuff here, a bunch of information. I've gone through most of these. So, I accept for parting because I haven't been able to party. Now, what I think, oh, okay. My, my movement is a bit laggy, which is kind of weird. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna do click. click. Oh, okay. I'll just go fight that bat, but somebody else is already in this encounter. Kind of sad. Okay, let's go to my boo, which is base of operations. This is where a bunch of interesting stuff arrive. So you can upgrade it for one, which would mean that you can actually get more stuff. So you need resources in order to upgrade your base of operation. You have storage here. You have your shop. So basically, you can check all your items that you don't want in here and then people can like advertise them and the people can like see them like just shop from your cart so then another thing is uh, you can customize this place with a build mode so these are slots for certain crafting materials if you have an upgraded house you can actually enter it and uh, yeah, that, that, that's quite nice. Enter the house and uh, decorate it on the inside. For now, let's go check out the combat. That bat right over there. I think what I did last time was I went a bit too far and faced uh, porcupines. There was like three of them. Uh, two porcupines and a... what was it? There was a third... It was like a cloud monster, and every time I attacked it, it did damage, like crazy much damage. Okay, yeah, we don't need to read that, because I know exactly how it works. Uh, one of them is right in front of me. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, I love this range, though. This range is nice. Okay, that, I'm gonna attack that last. This music is loud, so I'm probably gonna set that down. Wait, I have a cooldown on this? This is worse than the archer. This has a cooldown. Okay, well, let's go N2 guard. So, brace means I can attack as they approach me, which is nice. But it's only the first one I group here. So, let's quickly move, gain some distance, because with a mage, it is imperative that you have distance. Go after this guy. Lucky thing, yeah. Well, I, I I should be able to do AOE. I think I do actually do AOE, but I do mass amounts of damage. It's actually quite nice. But a mage can do this much damage. Okay, so I'm bracing up. So we can attack first one bat down. How's my health looking? Ah, my health is still fine. Quickly blast him. Yes, yeah, so that bat is almost dead, and then it's just a cloud. So move away a little bit. Not very far, but you know, just away from them. The the cloud is shocking me, which is not fun. Let's blast him. Yeah, and then I need to 
No, that's out of range. I accidentally pressed click on the cloud, which then clicked on the block behind it. So you have to click on the block where the cloud is. Now, if I had some gathering skills, I could be gathering these guys, but I did not. Now, I cannot move. I believe this is now done. I should be bringing up a loot menu, but it did not, which is kind of weird. But in any case, let us move around a bit. Using WASD because you can use that to move around in the map, but it's quite laggy actually. I think it's just my internet. I guess I can't move past water. Which would make sense. Would you be able to move past a moving river in real life? Probably not, no. Good take on those porcupines. Come on, go. Because I kept on clicking and kept on moving to the starter position. That over there on the left is a dungeon. Which is quite scary. I know that because I went in there the first time and uh, died. Twice. My first battle in there was a failure. These are level 2s, which is not fun. 60 health. Everything has 60 health. And I already have reduced health because I already fought some creatures. Yeah, now let's brace. Brace should give me like a defensive stance, so I should take a bit less damage. And actually take this one next round if I wanted to. Too. Let's take them out. It's going to reduce their damage. Yeah, that's one down. Quickly hit him. He's not going to be moving to me, I might as well just hit them directly. Yeah, let's blast him. I do a bit less damage because I'm surrounded. Oh, that uh, cloud is doing a ton of damage. That's, that's another one dead. My turn, okay. What I'm going to do with this cloud is I'm going to try and kite it a bit more. And I got killed. So that's what happens when you die. You can either, like, I believe it's like once a day where you can resurrect wherever you are, or you can just revive at your base of operations, which is then here. In any case, I want to go to town, because I want to go check if there isn't any quests. But you do get quests, they're not very good, but they are quests. Oh, I don't know, I haven't been able to do them, so... It's more of kill things, kill things, and uh, do, so, do stuff. So, yeah. The entire problem with that is I'm struggling to kill things, so... That's what I have a problem with. Probably because I'm not playing a fighter. Sit ah, Taskmaster, yes, this is the place where I want to be going. As you can see, I'm having a bit of weird lag. Inquisition, uh, enough eggs. Wait. Go turn task. Ah, I'll turn in task now. Enough eggs, what do I have to do for this? Our organization munches. Munches provides. Breakfast for the young apprentice throughout the city. A boiled egg is a great way to start the day. For a small reward, you can bring three boiled eggs. I'm not a chef, so I can't really do that. ETB dagger. I do not. These, these appear to be crafting. So. This taskmaster appears to be only selling. Well, doing quests for crafting, so I'm gonna have to be going to the one upstairs. There is one upstairs which I believe has monster killing quests, which is all I can do right now. I believe I have some cash here, some gold. Do I see my gold? 
I don't know where I see my gold. Okay, well, I have bags. You, you, you have your inventory. You have your items on the left here. You have your inventory on the right. And then you also have your character status. Which is everything just bigger and more. So you have armor, fire, earth, block, dodge, parry, air, water, void. I'm assuming, yeah, these are resistances for those. So there, it's defense, then there is miscellaneous combat, which I have killed five creatures. I'm almost at level two, actually, surprisingly enough. Now, somewhere around here, there is a quest giver. Oh, a. There's a star. Remember there being a star. Did I miss it? No, it would appear that it's not here. At least in the video that I watched or what I've experienced so far, there was one here, but I didn't even know there was one here. Oh, maybe it's further up. Yeah, that's probably. No. Can I go further up? No, I cannot. No, I can. I can't go further up. Those stairs look way too steep. Ah, here we go. Here's the past master. I was just being a bit too derpy. Now, butterfly disturbance, gobbo. Gobbo means you're gonna have to kill goblins. Cube bits, probably the cube slimes. What about the noise in the background, if you can hear it. Wait, where have all the pockets gone? Let's go gobs. Goblins. Okay, I'll take. Uh, I'll talk about other things. Okay, so. Let's go try and fight some goblins, why don't we? Should be able to kill goblins. Come on, they're goblins. They're not, you know, orcs or anything like that. They're goblins. They're meant to be easy. So, um, let's go. Oh, yeah, that's a market. I believe I should. I could probably try and get some crafting up as well. I think the crafting was left, and the market is here, which you can buy things at. By Chef Master. Okay, this is where I can learn things. Let's go. I, I use. Magic stuff. Let's go to learn enchanting. What I mean, enchanting. Learn enchanting. Okay, so enchanting will allow me to boost items, like increase them. Medallion. I have the craftsman in enchanting. I'll just collect strange items and apply them to her enchantments. Create ways. One trade craft and one gather craft. Come an enchanter. Yes. Okay. So, I'm enchanter level 1 now. That's nice. Always nice to know you're an enchanter. Now, what does this guy sell? See here, there, there's a bunch of people on this one. Look at where, let's see what you have. Starter hammer, what I need is something for enchanting. I'm supposing that's infusion? The one used for enchanter craft, yes. Do I have enough gold? You do not have enough gold, good. Good. I kind of figured I had no gold. Now, I did go through that merchant, but it did not like bring me into it. It didn't like grab me and say, oh, you wanted to trade something? Let's go outside. Now, when you're using click, you have to actually click in the door, like, so your guy enters the door, because otherwise you won't get out. Now let's see here, I gotta go kill stuff, otherwise I'm never gonna be able to level. 
The way to kill stuff is by finding them in the world and fighting them. I think this game is filled with death, so you're going to take a lot of loss. Let's go fight the bats again. Porcupines are not my favorite thing to fight. Oh, come on, over there. Not follow that guy. Go over there. That was weird. My person tried to follow them into that mineral node. The yeah, bats are really fast. Apparently they like to be quick on their feet. Now this is level 1 water metal. Ah, these are all level 1. That's good. I only have 40 health. And I do 29 damage with that spell now. Which is good. I can just smack them and it should work. It should work out quite nicely. Now... Let's cast a fireball on him. 26 damage. Not that much, but it should be dead within the next hit. And if I'm gonna use the attack on it. There isn't that much sound effects currently. Yeah, well, uh, let me let me just set down some music because this music is way too loud. There we go. That's better. I can actually hear myself now. Yeah, well. I must admit that the mage does do a lot of damage. This is a decent amount of damage. Okay, now, select all of it. I want all of this. Now. I like this. Now, if I open up my inventory, I have all of this, which is recipe, hammer. A big stone block. Small foundry. Stone table, that's I believe for the crafter right above where, where if you want to go back to where I learned enchanting, uh, it was actually for the other crafter. So you can actually craft things for crafters, which is a really interesting principle. Now I want to level up, or at least reach level 2 this episode, which could take a half an hour. Okay, it's 22 minutes in right now. Half an hour, not beyond that, but okay. Ow. I'm falling apart here. I anyway, guess moving forward, move towards them. Invalid target. Uh, okay, grab a defensive stance. They don't move that much. They don't have that much movement. So, but they are at level two. So this is gonna be a bit harder fight. Why is this? How does that look like a Beholder? Right, has the same attacks as Beholder as well. As if fighting a Beholder isn't bad enough. Now you have to fight a Beholder at level 1. Not fun. In any case, not fun. You don't want to fight a Beholder at level 1. <coughs> Let's quickly take out this eyeball, beholder, mimic, mini beholder. <laughs> uh, beholders are cool. They're just a floating eyeball that can kill everything. Just give me the loot. These are, as far as I know, they're stuff for inside your house, which I do not have access to because I do not have enough... Uh, resources to build it up. I don't have an interior yet. I only have a bed. But I am doing a lot better. I actually leveled up or was supposed to be leveling up. What? What is this? Yes, XP. Oh, I need to fill up all of these, I see. So this is uh, how far you are away from getting the next lip up here. Which, if you can uh, max this out, which I'm almost there, I think if I go through one more time, or at least as far as I believe, then I should level up to the next level. Okay, now this is better to do it from straight up top. So otherwise, it is hard to see where you're going. You're constantly going to have to change your angle. Let's do the player. 
standing behind this. Oh, and porcupines are kind of range as well. Oh, these are level 5. Uh, run away. Unsuccessful. That was a bad idea. I might die, because this is a level 5 dungeon. And uh, I'm level, t level 1, actually, still. Still level 1. Let's go after this close quarter guy. Yeah, I am I'm dead. I'm actually die this round. Can I can I flee now? Ah, I flee, I guess. I don't get any debuffs from fleeing just yet. I think you're gonna get debuffs from fleeing once you're level five. Just quickly eat a little bit to regain my health. And preferably get out of here. Suppose they are just it's all about the border. That one's red, so it's gonna be a hard encounter. The purple, so it's probably a boss or something like that. Red, purple, okay no, purple is perhaps a basic, and that's also things I'm dying to, so No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to take on this dungeon. All I have to do is take on the stuff in the world until I level up. Few more times, but I must admit that this game is interesting. It has a really interesting combat system. I'm probably gonna play this for a while, learn it. I mean, if you are currently playing it and want to join in, as you know, somehow send me a friend request inside the game. That would be nice. Perhaps help me leave some comments in the description on what I should do. I am playing solo, so it's gonna be a lot harder for me. So yeah. And it would be hard playing solo. I'm probably gonna get some friends play this with me. Maybe at least one that will play it if I tell them about it. So yeah. Well, I just wanna kill this this group up here. And then we can go on. And I should hopefully be level two and can see what I get from that. Ooh, a desert up ahead here. With clouds in it. Probably desert clouds. Ooh, that's Goblin. It's Goblin, isn't it? Gobbo, yay! I have a quest for them. Yeah, why, why am I trying to attack it when I'm outside of range? Yeah, now. Take Fireball, Eyeball. Oh, it's... Oh. Uh, I might have to flee. These are, I did not check out the level. This is a level 8. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. Not a way for me to survive that. Especially if they're both mages. Which they are. Yeah, let's let's try and take out the goblin first. Which is not gonna happen, yeah. They were too high level for me. That's my excuse. My only excuse, they were too high level. Now if I had a party it might have been more achievable, but I did not have a party. I am a solo player. And I'm playing a mage, not a very tanky dude either. Now, let's fight. Come on. That's an uh, ember elemental. Come on, fight. Okay. Wait, what? You know, I cannot fight it. Okay, so I need to find a way across this mountain. Uh, wrong, wrong buttons. Ah, there's a goblin. Kill the goblin. Finally, something we have a quest for. Time to kill goblins. Confirm to change charge to goblins. Oh, they've got a f uh, ember elemental with them. And they're all in front of me. My initiative is shit. I did not do good when I roll initiative. Now, ooh, there's a four. 
got to level one first. Uh, I, I do not have the range for him. Go after this guy first. Okay, they're shooting at me. That's painful. Okay, well first things first. Move up to them. Then, smack this Ember Elemental. Smack him! Yeah, I'm gonna be losing health remarkably quickly with this. Because they are really high level. Quickly take out this, uh... I'm surrounded. That doesn't mean I get... There's about four of them, and I believe two gives me about 10%, so... 30% damage reduction. Yeah, I can't even kill this level 1. Okay, what I need to do is I need to run for a little bit. And blast him. Just 31 damage. There's actually a decent amount of damage. Okay, I died. I got one kill at least. That was low level. I might actually just go directly back in because I should be in full health now. And I should be... Oh, the ember's gone. That's interesting. Let's guard here. Let them move up a bit closer. Level 4, level 4, level 4. So there's 4 level 4s versus level 1. Adventurer. Gonna take a while to kill them, which is the problem. So I'm not very tanky. They do a ton of damage. Yeah, I'm already beyond half, and I haven't even taken out one. And I can't use uh, any health regen items while in combat. At least if I can take out one, it should be a bit better. Okay, now I got a disadvantage. Ah, it was a disadvantage. In any case, I think I better leave it here. See you guys next episode, and goodbye. I'm probably gonna.